What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do? What it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well. Hold on, I got to call the wifey real quick. Big boy down here. She done started feeding this duck around here. This sucker's a turkey. He ain't no freaking duck. Let's see. Let me see if I can call him real quick. Can't even find my daggone number. Come on, what's going on? He done chased the rest of the ducks out. Hello? Hey, big boy out here looking for you. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting out here. He done chased the rest of the clan off. No. Uh... Yes, he's just stand he's standing at the bottom of the steps to your right. Oh, Lordy. All right. Love you. All right. Bye -bye. <laughs> Love you, too. Bye. Yeah, she done start feeding this big clown here, man. He look like a bus. He done chase all the other ducks. He the biggest duck on the property. <laughs> you know them toys that you see in the park for the kids and they can ride on like this? That's how big that sucker is, man. All right, family. Happy. Good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. Today is Thankful Tuesday. Scott Brillo Day. Hot damn. All right, guys. Thank, today is Thanks for Tuesday. I want to thank you guys for um, being a part of this channel and celebrating Thankful Tuesday. Family, today you got to tell me what you're thankful for. You know? So we got some club news. We got Bimba Don't Break. He's in the 300 Club. We got um, Stephanie, 50, and climbing. I hear you, girl. And um, she's in the 200 Club. And of course, you got myself who finished in the 70 Club, you know. Natasha had to beat me by 100. She finished in, I think, the 100 Club. You know what I mean? So shout out to everybody that participate in the club. You know, get that money. Big Rick, I don't know if you sent me your club. You might have did already, but I forgot what you made. Should not say what you made, what club you made. Had a great day yesterday, man. Shoot. Let's see. What I do yesterday? Made up for it, man. I had a migraine yesterday, man, that wouldn't quit. I mean, kept my eyes. I couldn't keep my eyes focused. Nothing, man. I had to take off yesterday, man. I was no, in no shape, man, at all to do a normal job. All right, so let's see. Where I finish it? But I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to tell you what I'm thankful for in a minute. <laughs> hey! Nice and cool this morning, man. It rained, it rained half of the night. All right, guys. I did seventy-three. I did seventy-three dollars yesterday, guys. Seventy-three with a migraine. My boy was hurt, man. But I had to quit, man, cause I, I I didn't get no sleep. It wouldn't let me go to sleep. It just kept the pressure on the front of my forehead, man. Made my eyes close. I was like trying to keep my eyes open. It wouldn't do it. But the pain, man. I never had a serious migraine before. I had a headache, but I never in my life had a migraine. But I had one yesterday, and that sucker's lasted for about seven hours, man. So I got some stuff for it. I think I got it because I worked 15 hours Sunday. And I supposed to cut back on my hours. I supposed to get some type of nap. But not, because I got... Uh, serious issue but other than that family everything is well I'm thankful man I am thankful for a wonderful wife who cares about me who despite whatever I say or, or, or try to force myself to do certain things she's the only one that can know how to slow me down because it's important that you listen to your family man 
especially when it comes to your health. You know, if it was up to me, man, it would I would have been, you know, doing too much when I just needed to. But I won't be in the 70 Club this week, um, Natasha. I'm already hit 70 something. But I'm thankful for a wonderful household. I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for my parents, both of them. You know, I'm just thankful, man. I'm very grateful and happy to have um, a wonderful supporting cast around me and whatnot. I'm just, you know, I'm just really thankful. I'm thankful for my whole YouTube family. I'm thankful for every individual I, I get to have a conversation with through, you know, YouTube. I have some very important people that I feel like are part of my family, my extended family. You know, Benita, Kim, Lynn doing the dude, Natasha, Scott Brillo, Big Rick, Jeff, Jeffrey, Atkins, you know, all of y'all, man, all of y'all. My whole YouTube family, those just some ones that I could just name without looking at my phone. <laughs> Uh, Bakari, you know, y'all very important to me, man. We develop a relationship through the YouTube channel, you know. And it's fun because it's innocent, it's positive, you know, it's just an extra outlet for, you know. I know I can go to Bakari and talk to Bakari to help me out in certain situations or help out dashes out there in California with no problem, you know what I mean? He took care of um, Miss Audrey for me. And I hope you're doing good, baby girl. I hope, I mean, we sent you, I sent you some people over. They said a lot of things to you. Um, tomorrow, hit you up with a, a, a wonderful prayer, or, or word of advice, wisdom. So I appreciate that, you know what I mean? So I hope you got enough to sustain and help you out a little bit because you're not the only one going through. At some point in time, everybody was where you at now. It's just how you, how the outcome comes, you know? And I tell you, some people like myself, man, you say you want a break, I'm gonna give you a permanent break, you feel me? Life is too short, man, life is too short, man. There's too many people in this world, man, you know? My wife know I joke and play about a whole lot of things. One thing I don't play about is worrying about, you know, getting hurt or, you know, you say it's over with, it's over with. Okay, it's over with, see you later. I ain't got time. I did all my crying and all my, you know, what you call it, it's time to live, man. Don't have that type of problem, I'm just saying. Life is too short. I'm going to get this call quick, call quick. So tired that a day. Number two was there yesterday, but all I got was eyes. Like, I said, you keep rolling them things, you're going to be picking them up. <laughs> She's like, come on behind this counter. I'm like, you don't want me to come behind that counter. I'm like, Choke. She love when I tell her I'm gonna come behind that camera. She's like, it's 12 cameras back here. I'm like, I don't care. I'm trying to make world star. <laughs> trying to be famous. <laughs> yes, she just laughed, but she's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah, I said, happy Mother's Day to Ty. Ty was like, I ain't got no kid. I'm like, do you got any pets? Do you have any pets? She was like, well, I had two toy poodles, but my mom gave them away. I said, like, damn, you ain't even a mother to a daggone pet. She's like, nope. I said, I feel you, child. I'm saying happy Mother's Day to you early, so when you do have kids, I'll be the first one to say happy Mother's Day to you. Boy, ain't this a biscuit. But Tara and I hit it down, she her car, but the line, and the drive-through is in the road. Come on, so I can get by. I'm not sitting here. Oh no! <laughs> Kingfish don't sit. Kingfish make room. 
I don't care if the popo is there. I blow the horn, let them know that I'm coming through. What you gonna do, popo? Sitting in there, drink your coffee and your donut, eating your donut. But not say nothing to me. All right, fam, I'll be back. I'm back, family. Number two made my coffee, man. She got 11 today, man. I gotta give her 11. She be crispy. She made me, uh, she made me a great cup of coffee. She was not smiling either. She's like, I was talking to her, I was like, high school. She was like, you see me making your coffee, don't you? I was like, number two, you gonna stop giving me attitude. She was like, I hope it don't even taste good. Well, surprise, it tastes great. It ain't a 12, but it damn sure is a big old 11. All right, guys, we got an order at um, Chick-fil-A. We're going Chick-fil-A real quick. It's for $6, so I know I'm not going that way. No, I mean, I'm not going that far. Yes. Please be breakfast item. Oh, the, all they're getting is a four-count mini. Hannah. Why that name sound familiar? Oh, yep, the down the front desk. Yep, Hannah. It's right there. Damn, I could walk this over. But I take the six dollar. Four count minis, I'd be in and out. Mm. You know the coffee good because when it, when it's a little bit on the straw, when you bring it out, you you go back and get it. You know what I mean. You use your lip and you go. Mm. You get the rest off of the straw. <laughs> that's the, that's when I know it's good. You know. You don't want to leave nothing on the straw. Oh, man. Guys, it's, it's wonderful, man. I'm thankful that I can wake up in the morning, man, and get a great cup of coffee. And I know I would have never got 11 out of her if I wouldn't have pulled it out of her. So I just want to say to you, number two, number one is making you better because you want to be number one. And you are, truly, you are number one. You truly are. Because you're making great cup of coffee, so you gonna always be number one. But not number. Come on, cop, get over. Come on, state trooper, go. But you're not the number one coffee maker. You feel me? But you got a lot going on, so I'm gonna start calling you number one and a half. How about that? I'm gonna call you one and a half. I think that's fair. I think she 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 deserve. Uh, one and a half. Steady being called two. Yeah. God, man. I don't see nothing but cops out today. And they all getting breakfast. One, two, three, four. All right. Got, uh, cops got to eat, too. Poor, poor got to eat. Like my dear say, I ain't scared of no poor, po. I don't fool with popos. I give them the off. I give them the respect. Cause they 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 can kill at will now. I don't have no problem. Sit on the ground, no problem. You got a pillow? Lay on the ground. I ain't got no problem, dog. <laughs> I just don't wanna get no dirt in my head. Alright, I'll be back, family. I'm back, family. Mmm. Call smell like French vanilla. Hot damn. All right, so let's go take Hannah, her order. Guys, let me tell you about the experience I had yesterday. All right, so I got an order for, what did I get an order for? I got an order from Chick-fil-A, right? So I took the order to Chick-fil-A. It's raining. It's pouring down raining. I mean, it's raining hard right now. Not a count. I'm dealing with a migraine it's raining hard all set let's go and uh, turn left on north 53rd street then turn right on east Fowler i go Avenue. to chick-fil-a i pick up sandwiches two sandwiches two fries i dropped it off go up all these steps four flights of steps i it's very rare that you get apartment complex that got four flights four four roads so i went up there i took us i'm tired come back down Get in the car. I drive away. I get another order. 
seven dollars and something. I click on it. It's the same person that I just left. They order right two drinks, two large street. drink from Wendy's. Two large drink from Wendy's. And I said to her, I was like, really? You gonna send me back up these steps? She's like, well, I'm about to order dessert. I was like, why you just couldn't order everything? <laughs> so sure enough, I got it. I took her drinks, I left. She said she gonna order dessert. I got the dessert. The order came through, I, I didn't even take it. I was like, ain't no way I'm going back up these steps, man. Even though I could have made $24 off that young lady, I made 16 something dollars. But I, I was like, I'm not, I'm not going back up them steps, man. No, 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 no. Sure enough, they gave it to me. I declined it. Click. Mm-mm. If it wasn't raining, I would have went back up there. So what happened is the steps, there's nothing underneath the steps to keep the steps from getting wet. And the steps are slipping me. I mean, even with my tennis shoes on, I kept sliding. I was like, oh, no, this is dangerous. <laughs> and she said somebody fell down them steps. Those steps are dangerous, man. They need to they need to get those steps together. They steal steps with no type of, um, what can I say, no type of um, stuff to stop you from sliding. And the steps are old, so I guess they got some dirt build up, so that dirt and water just makes it slippery. I think that's what it did, but it was slippery, man. Oh, man. All right, we're going up the street. It ain't that far away. Just a mile up the street. Oh, somebody asked me about my buddy that was gonna do DoorDash, my 80-something-year-old buddy. Uh, he got his car, but he's scared. He's scared. He really is. He he, he don't want to fail nobody. And uh, he can he know he can do it. He just don't have the confidence to do it. So I told him if he want to dash, I come pick him up. He can dash. I go get the stuff for him. Show him how easy it is. But not. But um, he's scared to death, guys. He's scared to death. He I think he no he just turned eighty eight. So. I know I got some old friends, man. I like being around people that got wisdom. You know what I mean? All my friends, all my close, close friends, man, that I consider close, close friends. Uh, Joe, Joe is um, about to be 90. Talk to him. I don't talk to him every day, but I talk to him a lot. Your destination will be on your left. I made a promise to his wife when she passed away a couple years ago that I um, I take care of, and I talk to his wife every let's see every Mother's Day for 20 years. I had a conversation with his wife because I always call her Mother's Day. She'll call me Father's Day and stuff like that for over 20 years. I had a relationship with these two. Joe used to work for me when I had my business and whatnot. He taught me a lot. But over 20 years, man, I used to call his wife every Mother's Day, call him every Father's Day. We call each other holidays and stuff. And this Mother's Day was hard because I'm so used to talking to her on Mother's Day and whatnot. But I got a chance to talk to Joe. He's doing good. At 89 years old, he walk a, a mile every day and whatnot. He's doing good. He's not your normal 90-year-old, you know. He's 90, but he act like he's 70, you know. So... I gotta keep my eye on it. But my man Dale, Pop Dale, uh, he's 80, 80, just turned 88. And that's the one that wanna do DoorDash, you know. Then I got some buddies that's in the 60s, you know. And it's, it's just people that I don't really hang out with, but it's just people that I, I, I cross paths with and then we end up sticking together and whatnot. <laughs> but I'ma try to get them to dash, man. I'm going to go pick him up one day and say, hey, look, man, just get your bag, cut your phone on. I'm going to take you everywhere and let them see how it is, man. Because I think it's important that you keep that mind right when you get a certain age. You know what I mean? You got to stay busy. I don't know what kind of games I'm going to play. I can't hide my keys and then go look for them because I'll never find them because I forget where I put them at. But I'm going to have to find something to keep my brain straight. That's for sure. Come on. 
Lewis, that heck is good. Tank count um, minis. Boy, Chick fil A minis off the change, boy. That's sweet, sweet um, bread dough. I don't know if they put sugar, but uh, I had a, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, what was it? Who was it? I forgot what it was. But they put sugar in everything. I don't know if it was an aunt, but uh, everything's sweet. Can't put sugar in everything. Man. I don't know if it was an aunt or a friend of mother that I think it was one of my friend mother who put sugar in everything. Spaghetti, it doesn't matter. She put sugar in everything. Everything she cooks, she put sugar in. Stuff that's supposed to be bitter is sweet, but like, ooh, ain't, ain't, ain't this supposed to be um bitter? Shout out to number uh, one and a half. I changed number two to one and a half, man. This time she added sugar, man. Coffee is on the point. You know, all this time she could have been making 11s, but she haven't been putting the sugar, so. I'm gonna give her the title one and a half. Can't get number one, only because Tyra been making tens from day one. Woo. If you don't know, Tyra is back. That's right, my best coffee maker is back, man. Doing her thing. So excited when I first saw it. Yep. Got goosebumps. Because I knew I was going to get some good coffee, man. That's all, you know. That's all I need. So today, guys, is Thank for Tuesday. Scott Bill, I know you got your Thank for Tuesday shirt on, man. But you're going to have to be patient for the other shirts. Um, I think I'm just going to go and uh, after they complete this order. I'm 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 not gonna do thankful. I'm um, keeping it real Monday, not through them. I think I'm gonna go through Trina with keeping it real Monday. Uh, this is gonna be my last batch of shirts from them, and then uh, I'm gonna get set Trina up so she can start making my shirts for me. Quality, quality, quality shirts, man. You know. Getting this fry to be ready next, um, hopefully, next Thursday. Okay, we in here somewhere. You've arrived. Destination is on your left. On my left? Get. All right, guys. So throwback Wednesday, man. We doing movies, man. We doing your favorite all-time movies, and why? I'm bringing that back, man, because I got some movies I ain't that I seen that I ain't, I ain't tell y'all about, man. Because you know that's. One thing you 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 know, movies is always gonna be a part, guys. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this food real quick. 
Be right back, fam. Watch the car for me. All right, family, I'm back. So get them favorite movies together, man. Cause we're gonna, I'm gonna take y'all back, man, to some good, good movies. Maybe I can help y'all have movie night set up for, for you and your young lady or you and your young man or you and your woman woman or you and your man man. However you want to put it. Oh, man. All right, guys. Oh. Woo. I've been itching, I've been itching. Two places you don't never want to get uh, a mosquito bite. On your elbow and on your toe. Man, I got bit on my elbow and my toe. I don't know if it was the same mosquito, but the two spots that you don't want to get bit on, man. If I ever find that mosquito, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip his, I'm gonna rip every piece of leg, every leg he had. I'm going to start with his legs. I'm going to rip his legs off first. I'm going to torture that mosquito if I ever catch it. He must have been a thug. Oh, going to bite me on my elbow and on my toe. So I, I, I can't scratch my toe because I'm driving. So I got to keep rubbing it. And then my elbow is just, it's just miserable. Get him. I'm gonna torture the hell out of him too. I'm gonna kill him slow, guys. I'm gonna kill him slow. Damn, man, I want another cup of coffee. I might drink my my, my wife mini me. It's my wife mini me right here. I might drink that. Oh, she would be mad at me, boy. Uh-oh. Popo -po pulling somebody over already. Is he in a minivan? What is he driving? That person ain't pulled over yet. Okay, they pulled him over. What is he driving? Oh, he's driving a yeah, they're gonna pull over in the turning lane. Oh man, this is unmarked, all white. The Mustang, lady in the Mustang. Mm -hmm. Y'all women always in the herd. Always in the herd. That sucker must be in here somewhere. I just got bit again. If I catch you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. Oh man, that's the worst place to have a, a, a mosquito inside a car when you're driving. You, you're distracted. You ain't gonna see it. But if he land on me, I feel him. Cause that's how big they are. Get sometimes I buy something, I had to correct change and I don't use it. I just get more change, man. I had a pocket full of change. It made me think about my grandfather. My grandfather used to get us to do anything he want. He just dig in his pocket and he'd rattle his change, make that change noise. Don't you want some of this I got in my pocket? Like, yeah, granddaddy. All right, go over there and dump that, 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 that bucket over there and do this and do that. Then you do it, he'd be like, um, I'll give it to you tomorrow. Whenever my grandfather said he'd give it to you tomorrow, you ain't getting it. He just got what he want out of you, and that's it. But we caught on to that trick. 
I used to say, well, I'll do it tomorrow, granddaddy. That way you can give it to me right then and there. He's like, no, you need to do it now. Can I get my money now? He's like, don't, don't negotiate with me. Well, you offered it to me. You always told us, if you say you're going to do something, you got to be a man and do it. I remember he <laughs> I remember he wanted to whip my butt for saying that when he used to tell me that. You know? He said, boy, whenever you tell somebody you're going to do something, you got to be a man and do it. That used to be his favorite saying. He'll tell somebody he'll do something. He gonna do it. He used to tell us he gonna give out change the next day. He would never give it to us. So I wouldn't do the, the work till the next day. And if he don't give it to me, I just tell my grandma. She like, John, get that boy his money. See, remember back in the day when you was little, penny was penny was like dollars. But as you get every year, you graduate, you go from a penny to a nickel to a dime to a quarter. 50 cent to a dollar. My grandfather used to always try, as older I got, he used to always try to give me all his penny. I'm like, granny, I don't buy, I know, no, nah, man, I need to see some silk. You know. And then the silver turned into green. That's when he fired me. He was like, look, you can't work for me no more. You're too big now. You want dollars. I'm only giving out cents. You know. <laughs> I miss my grandfather. My grandfather in a nursing home down in North Carolina was giving them people hell. When I say he give them ladies hell, man, he give them hell. My grandfather's the only one in the nursing home. If he decide to wander outside, they would lock the damn door. I promise you that. They would lock the damn door. I'm telling you. You know? They be like, girl, let him go outside. He go outside, I'm locking this door. He ain't getting back in. <laughs> He loved that butterscotch candy, boy. Uh-oh, got another order. Fish on the hook. Fish on the hook. Where we going? Dunkin' Donut. Which one? Nine dollars, guys. Nine dollars. Must be going. Cypress Glen. Cypress Glen. Cypress Glen. Go down Fletcher. All right, guys. We got a nine dollar order. I don't know if you can see it. Nine dollars. Make sure I'm going the right way. All right, all right. Let's take East Fletcher yep, Avenue. Yep, I'm going the right way. In Shut up. Turn right on East Fletcher Shut Avenue. Up. All right, family, I'm going to do this order, man. I'm already over my time. I just want to say, guys, the day is thankful Tuesday. Please tell me what you're thankful for. Make sure that you thank that man from upstairs, whoever you believe in, waking you up this morning. You know what I mean? Give thanks. Because he didn't have to do it. You know what I mean? It's to all my believers out there. You got something to think they woke up on their own. You know what I mean? All right, family, I got to go, man. It's been a pleasure um, hollering and talking to you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Go back Wednesday, my favorite day. I am going live on Thursday. You know, I didn't have an order last Thursday, so it wasn't no accident. You know, I just was doing a talk about it. But, you know, I think I'm finding if I'm going to go live, I'm going live to Dash, not to just to go talk. You know what I mean? I do that on Saturday. All right, family, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Dollar Tim, I'm here to text you up and see what y'all doing. I love you guys. Y'all have a great day. Peace.